role model aspect they take. And this is that replay of Miggy's wave. So a nice turn to get things started. Carrying smooth, buttery momentum. Eyes the lip line. He goes up and unable to stick that one. So uh, a little bit of movement here. Alejo, the signature of his run through this event really has just been the froth. He's moved all over this lineup. He's picked the eyes out of it. And here he goes. Nice big turn to get going. Just generates a lot of his own speed out of that one. A big vertical snap to finish. And he's uh, taken straight off from where he ended his quarter. That was with plenty of wave surfed with plenty of vigor rich. He gets that pop. Beautiful pop from Miggy. And it looks like he won't be scared to take the air. Here's the replay. Alejo Rich. Oh. Uh, and let's watch the replay here. So driving off that front foot now pivots off the back. Far out. And again, just the twelve. Oh. He actually got a lot of release out of that fight. As we see live action, Miggy Pupo. Well, these guys are finding plenty of opportunities in the early stages of this heat. You'd expect nothing less. They're really good mates. A nice air reverse from Miguel Pupo. And uh, they must be relishing the chance to be surfing against each other. They've had such... Uh, the past couple of years coming down here, we've got like a little crew together and they show up day in, day out, rain, hail or shine. All the Groms and the girls coming down from North Ab too, like, yeah, so overwhelmed with love and support. Let's talk about that heat with Sally. You guys have had plenty of matchups together. That was always going to be kind of a battle of competitive strategy. Uh, Portugal, they just absolutely love surfing over there, but live action. Look at this, Miggy Pupo flying down the line now, slashes off the top. He's going to look for a section here, Well, He's got two speedy snaps onto the inside, throws the fins. Miggy's wave, he was always searching for something down the line, and you could actually see frustration at the end of his wave. You could see there, he was almost lining up for the air, so he just goes for the slash, and again, it's all down the line work, and, and that's just a forced little air rep. And it looked like he was hunting for a major turn that never really happened there, as we see Alejo now. He's uh, staying busy. These two waves. Oh, Alejo must have done something good at the start of this one because he's really starting to feed off it. What did you make of that exchange, Rich? Yeah, this is really interesting. Um, you know, it, it's a priority thing that we can talk about. The matchup between these two. We'll get into that as we look at the replay. So Alejo starts with a ferocious snap and again backs it up and uh, just hitting it down the line. So multiple turns. Each one of them done with so much power and force. And kind of just mistiming sections and looking for stuff that isn't there, you know. I think he'll he'll look to get uh, something back here, some momentum, some rhythm. He goes huge. Oh. But it's, uh, it does feel like there's a bit of frustration creeping in. Alejo, yeah, he's outpowering him. He's out-muscling him. He's big ones back in the old, uh, you know, high-rated 6 and 10,000 rated days. But I would argue that they're both doing the best surfing of their career at the moment. I think so, without a doubt. Um, and that's a difficult thing to do, isn't it? You know, at this age, at this point in your career, you're kind of, I guess, having a look at the mirror and going, OK, do I... Challenger Series events, Miguel Pupo, what's he going to do? He's going to look for something massive here. Big frontside rotator. And he gets a clean exit, and he puts himself back in the frame. That's exactly what he needed with under seven minutes on the clock. Wasting time if he takes up on anything other than a 7-2-7. Uh, a but Miggy streaks down the line. All intention was to go to the air, gets the grab. Really good spin. Got a lot of rotation. Got pop out of it, slightly inverted. And uh, clean as you like for the landing. Well, he has this big frontside rotation. It's on lock, live action, Alejo, quick in and out. Just having that confidence to be able to convert like that. And he's going to look for another opportunity here. Uh, another oh. big oh, oh, oh. Upside down on this one. He can land in the flats and does that same air. You know he's going to go excellent like Jordy Lawler did earlier. Alejo off the bottom, cracks it into the lip. That powerful backside snap in the pocket. And again, he is jamming it with pure force. A smaller wave. It'll be uh, good to see this one from the front on angle. Rich, what did you like about this one? Well, I like that first turn. Really vertical. Pivot's so tight. Kind of lost the tail a little bit on that second one, but the wave sort of lets him down. So, uh, I don't know. I, ca I can't see it going up into that seventh at this point. But um, the energy's still there, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, look There's at this. still heroes to so many crew from all over the world. Down the beach, Miggy Pupo, plenty of speed. Is he going to take back to the air? This was predicted, and oh, he doesn't. He gets stuck. 
So he just missed times the launch pad. It is a fantastic result here for Aleo Muniz. Getting it done over Miggy Pupo. A great result for Miggy to turn his year around as well. And uh, just a great heat between two titans of professional surfing.